What's going on, crypto sports fans? Clay Albright here. I am your host of this first episode of EOS Block Talk with Brian Limberti and Clay Albright. And in the future, we plan to have David Pence, Michael Bonin, Center Smith, Michael Bullock, and many other people that we have partnered with in our ventures with EOS USA. And want to start this first episode off with Brian and I's chit chat just recently regarding two questions. One of who is our audience? And second, what is it that we aren't telling people? Here we go with our first episode, all audio, all blockchain, all the time. And it dawned on me. Are you recording? I am recording. You sure? I am. That we have to answer a question. What question needs answering? <laughs> What is it that we wish to communicate to our YouTube subscribers and in specific EOS voters about what it is that we have going on right now? I could state that a little more simple. Well, what, what, what's the most important thing we would like to, to communicate to our audience? I mean, I get us jump started with we're developing software right now. And it is exciting to have been a part of the process because for the last, what, eight, nine weeks, pretty much every other week or so, we've been meeting with the company locally that's been doing develop or, a de excuse me, designing a software application to be put on the EOS platform. That's freaking exciting. And we can't say a lot about it because we don't want to jeopardize Put it this way we're not a paid block producer yet right so well, there's a lot to risk if you know we're de we're investing some money here to do this we we want to make sure that we kind of keep it hush hush until we come out with it so for the last how many weeks we haven't really been able to talk about this but it's happening and i feel like we need to be talking about it right i'd like to know that if i were a voter well who do you think our voters are though <clears throat> hey, you think it's the people watching our YouTube channel? No, maybe. Well, I think that the people that are watching the YouTube channel are people that um, have heard about cryptocurrencies and or EOS and are doing their own uh, research almost like they have a curiosity um, they don't know what the hell it is they don't have anybody they can go to to say hey what is this you know you can't walk right. into edward jones and be like here explain this to me edward jones doesn't have a clue so they don't really they're not as interested in the bp stuff no i think that no i really think that the, our audience our audience is or well, the audience we need to be speaking to are the people who have the curiosity, but don't have the, the resources uh, available to them, by no fault of their own, um, to, to learn more about it. So where do they turn? Where do you turn when you're looking for something? Or you're looking to learn something? You turn That's to YouTube, right. right. So these people are looking to learn something about uh, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, um, and I think there's probably a big mark out, market out there trying to understand what blockchain is and what's the big deal about it. So when you think about, okay, who, who are we going to be talking to on YouTube are people who have the curiosity and they want to know more about it, but they don't know where to go. And it's almost like we, we need to help them along in finding... Uh, Helping them do their own due diligence. That's what we need to do. In other words, we need to be able to show them uh, where to go uh, for you know, d different resources. Um, I think they, uh, <clears throat> on, on another level, is you know how do you how do you create a wallet? Why do you create a wallet? How do you stake coins? Why do you stake coins? You know all these different questions that are out there that like things like that would be more specific to like EOS. So in other words, like we put out a video 
Okay, as EOS USA, as a block producer, one of the things we're supposed to be doing is adding value to the community, which is informing the community about EOS in particular. Spreading the word about EOS, what it could do, and educational, so we created all that kind of stuff. EOS News, or EOS USA News, right? Right. At EOS-USA.org which is articles. We release articles daily of what's going on in the EOS environment. And what else, what other kind of articles do we, we release? Blockchain news. Blockchain news. That's, uh, a lot of blockchain to. news and a little bit of EOS because it's not as much EOS news right news. now. Right. But as, and we try to dig up as much as we can. One of the responsibilities as a block producer is to bring, this, bring the knowledge to, to, the, you know, to the world, mass adoption. Ultimately, that's what, right. what, what, you know, one of the jobs that we're supposed to be responsible for. We are developing software uh, that we intend to release hopefully by the end of first quarter of next year. We are doing that on our own dime. Hopefully we can get elected because we've shown that we, are, we do care. We want this to happen, right? And we've taken the initiative to do these things. You know, our audience are on the curious and I want to know more. The investors, the, the token holders, the voters are going to be, are you real? What are you doing over there? Oh, oh, so you do a video YouTube on that, you do that, you good education. Man, you really are. Okay, you are participating, and I can see in your video you're adding value to the community because, you know, I watched a video and I wanted to watch it, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, okay, you're real. You know what I mean? But not coming for the, the information. So there's, like, there's two different levels we're talking on. You know what I mean? Our, our voters and our audience. So, and our audience doesn't probably care too much about the block producer. They don't. Information. Mm -hmm. but, they know. don't. Now, that, now, that's not to say that we shouldn't do any videos on that kind of stuff or put any, um, put any articles out on the website about block producer stuff. I come across block producer stuff, ultimate EOS guide, blah, 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 blah whatever. I was going to put it up on the website as, a, as an article. You know, well, why not? You know, it's EOS related and it's, you know, all this different stuff. And, you know, you want to be a block producer? Put it up there. You know what I mean? Love so, it. I love um, it. So in conclusion, right, we should maybe do our videos as education for the audience, necessar not necessarily for the voter. But we could include some. But it's all about the voter. Our videos aren't going to be for everybody. But, you know, like if we do a video like this that's more on the block producer side and maybe on governance, maybe on our opinion or on whatever it might be. Um, yeah, I think we could do those videos.